the tutorials by Andrew Ruckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create some interesting sort of random noise using the edit menu, fill command, and the random fill script. Now, first thing to do is actually create some patterns for it. And I've actually done some before already, but I'll just quickly show you how to create. This is a 400 by 400 document. Of course, you can make it any much larger. But I'm going to go for something, create a very small time. Now, I've got a little shape there, shape option, and fill. I'm going to go with red. And it's just a very, very basic square. So I'm just going to create very, very tiny. Just going to go background, delete, and then select that. And what I want to do is go to edit and define pattern. Click OK. And I can go out and obviously I could make a, and I've actually created it earlier, let's say some circles, spots, etc. As you could put stars in, letters, whatever you want as your noise. In this design. And of course you can interweave it and apply one with one and then apply another, say like green or blue and so on and so on. Obviously a variety. But this one I'm just going to apply it with a single pattern. So now once I've actually created that, what I can then do, uh, I can go over to edit and fill and pattern. That's the key one. And make some scripts on, random fill. And make certain new because it's always there, just I always sometimes end up running, going straight into the thing, and then realizing that I actually haven't selected the pattern I want. So I don't know, it's, a, it's weird, just go past it, and I'm just going to select it there. That's the one I want. But obviously, you can you see very small designs I've created in the earlier run throughs of this. So click OK. And then you can see the actual design. Now, that should roughly match, because it's uh, fairly small, fairly the whole thing should match. Sometimes you don't get the exact size exactly right in the preview, but anyway, set the density up fairly high, set the count, all the various other settings fairly high as well. Doesn't particularly matter, rotate, it's obviously up to you. I'm gonna go that, it's very tiny, so you probably hardly notice it. And then obviously set the scale factor all to very, very low settings and click OK. Now, now you can apply this obviously multiple times you can just run through go up there change the obviously the pattern itself but you can also make an action and I've done this earlier I've just basically recorded an action so it's basically just go down here click and record edit and then fill obviously select that all that's all set click OK and then run so you can just see so it's obviously the, exactly the same side before there so what you can do just select there and Stop it before it's do anything else. Wouldn't be helpful. Okay, then run through and you can see just basically just create that. And of course you can apply different effects between, so you maybe like sort of color it and vary it with maybe a blur or whatever. You don't have to keep obviously. But you can see you can very rapidly fill a design with this just by reapplying this multiple times to create some sort of variations of the usual grain, which is sort of a your own sort of style in it or maybe your name whatever you want okay so once you've actually got that that's it you can of course go to various filters might be like blur let's say or oil paint which is my favorite and just add some quick oil paint there and then obviously you've got even a slightly more unusual random background design noisy background and of course you can always just go to or to you can actually see it again and so on and so on auto tone and like that so it creates it really can be a great source for creating some interesting designs very quickly and of course then you can tweak that further maybe with other filters camera raw filter comes to mind just to modify it just to change the design right hope you found this interest thank you much